morning. Welcome to this full day of eating. I am eight and 14 weeks out from competition. I'm on a very low calorie diet, very low carb. I'm eating exactly 1,761 calories. That's exactly 220 grams of protein, 49 grams of fat, and 110 grams of carbs. As you can also tell, that's very low carb. But I'm gonna be honest and transparent. This is what it takes for me to get to that single digit body fat zone. It is working, so with full transparency, I'll show you everything that I'm doing. Pick ideas from here, but don't copy my macros or diet. But we start off our day with almost a liter of coffee. So I added my coffee, it's almost a liter and ice just to cool it off. It's the first thing I do. It gives me the energy I need to start my day off. It also allows me to fast for a longer period of time, which is normally 16 hours and sometimes even 20. But I'm gonna start with this and I'll take you throughout the rest of the day. I do encourage you guys, if you do want more of this type of content, hit the video with a thumbs up, gently, subscribe if you're new. Let's kick it off. Okay, every morning, I start with a multivitamin. As you can imagine, eating a low amount of calories can give you some micronutrient deficiencies. And just having a multivitamin as a fail-safe, although I do have enough vegetables, fruits in my diet, I do make sure by just having one in the morning along with the coffee. So, I will film a morning routine for you guys, but the first thing I do after having my cup of coffee is I go for a run. We did six kilometers, 44 minutes, We'll end there. It's okay to get steps or cardio. I recommend like accumulating as much as you can throughout the entire day, right? Because you burn calories. But also, I've done cardio or somewhat of cardio and I'm separating that between my training sessions so my training isn't impaired. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to have the next supplement and then we'll go to training. Awesome, so midday, as you can tell, my morning is filled by caffeine, but I absolutely love this pre-work and I'll tell you why. So I have two scoops of Pride, and then I have one scoop of acetyl carnitine. I want you guys to let me know, because I know there's conflicting information out there. Do you guys think that the pre-workout takes you out of a fast, fasted state? In each scoop, right, there is five calories and a total of one carb. In two scoops, there's 10 calories and two carbs. I wanna know in the comment section what you did think. I'm very curious. However, this pre-workout doesn't make me crash. So my energy is maintained throughout the workout. There's no beta alanine, so there's no jitter. But my focus and training, unparalleled. It has helped me tremendous this prep. So I'm gonna sip on this. So now we're going to head to my boy Gans place. It's the Venta Pro Sports Performance Academy. And that's where I've been training. They've been gracious enough to have me. And you'll see it's such an amazing facility. And I'll show you guys it more during the morning routine, but I'll sip on this on my way there. Uh, hey, uh, I'ma get right in my bed. Uh, why you gonna try to get mad? Uh, everybody wanna keep up. Uh, don't you know I move too fast? Uh, I'ma zip, zip right past. Uh, drip, drip all on my sweat. Uh, why you trying to size me up? Uh, you don't wanna try your look. Till I hit my goals Better get back when I'm in my zone Do it for the ones that I know back home Did it myself, they ain't put me on But you call back if you hear that song Another yeah. level, level, another level, another level We ain't never settle, nah Level up, watch me level up Watch me level up, watch me level up Another level, another level, another level We ain't never settle, nah Level up Watch me level up, watch me level up, watch me, watch me, uh. ah. So, meal number one post-workout. I'm finally breaking my fast, this is after 2 p.m. The way I go into the gym is I like to earn my meals. However, now the sandwiches I made is 549 calories, exactly 30.2 grams of carbs, 18.5 grams of fat, especially from the cheese, and I also have Perrinet sauce, and finally 62.9 grams of protein. And then I also have a protein snack here, a protein bar for my sweet tooth, which I do enjoy, 137 calories, seven carb, 4.9 fat, 8.8 grams of protein. Without further ado, I'm finally going to dig in. It's so easy to make too, very quick. Oh, 
10 out of 10, man. So, in terms of being on prep, one thing that people don't speak about, including myself, is flavor. You want your food to taste good. I promise you, if you just put some salt and pepper, over a month, you're gonna say I'm over, it doesn't help. So I like to meal prep and this also saves me time. No excuses. So I've meal prepped some lean beef and the way I track it is that I cook it and then I use cooked lean beef macros and the same goes for the chicken breast. The uh, marinades and stuff I've used is the peri peri marinade, barbecue marinade, some chili spices, some salt, etc. right? Marinate it as well as you like and my point is just keep it consistent because that's what's going to help you make great food. So this is going to be all the protein I'm gonna be consuming throughout the week. As you can see, it's quite a lot, but it tastes really good and I'm gonna put it on the grill. Another thing I meal prep, right, which is the zero calorie jellos. So I make two of them and I have this. So I'm gonna make one more and when my sweet tooth kicks in, when I'm hungry, you'll see me that I'll just be able to go into the fridge and pop it in. Prepare if you're prepared then you're always going to be good in terms of like all the foods you need, but let's barbecue Dr. Chef Master barbecuer chicken breast all on top the meats under I'll just show you guys a little bit it's all prepped, right? So as you can see, all the chicken breast is prepped. As you can see, beautifully made. I'm telling you, the trick is behind having good tasting food. And barbecue for me tastes amazing. So I'll barbecue my week's food, meal prep it, divide it. Awesome, so I'm sure I'll get a lot of questions about water intake. What I do is anywhere with three liters and above in the US that's a gallon and what I do is I also add a water enhancer. This helps me take down all the water I do throughout the day. Also keeps me hydrated, it keeps me full. Now my main meal, the next one, 250 grams of the barbecued beef, lean beef, and then we also have 500 grams of pumpkin, very high in fiber. This meal keeps me very satiated. And as you know, I have a sweet tooth. This is where the jello comes in, zero calorie. And as you can see, it's high volume. This gets me really full. The calories on the screen, I'm gonna dig into this, but these are one of my main meals. And this is what I love about intermittent fasting, is that I'm not hungry during the day, and then in the evenings when my appetite does kick in, it's easy for me, and I get to the 10% body fat region that I wanna get to without too much hassle. Yes, it's difficult, but it's possible. Finish off my macros, very similar to the first meal. However, I have my carrots and celery just to get a bit more micronutrients. And then I've added more chicken breast, more onions and so on, but there's less fat on this meal overall. And this is my last meal to complete my macros. That's the end of the video. I've completed my calories, the 110 grams of carbs, 49 fat, 220 protein. Let me know if you guys want more of this. This is exactly what I'm doing on prep. I'm having my last meal right before I go to bed, and then it's another 16 to 20 hour fast, which I'm fine with, which I'm happy with. Let me know how you could improve the diet. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.